through this video and talk about the 45 plus one two three race and it's getting started we are on uh, Ted's bike so welcome Ted Toribio thanks Thank for you. coming out I pronounced that correctly yeah Toribio Toribio very, very Dude, close I've never had that <laughs> for, for a while I thought it was Toribino yeah, yeah oh my god it's close Toribio Toribio okay now let's see how I learned something well thanks for coming out Ted yeah, thanks for inviting me so like did guys get started from the gun already? I mean, there's two guys off the front, and they just... Yeah, so right off the bat, it's, it's always kind of, I mean, like, in most races, there's always going to be, like, two or three guys that's kind of, like, uh, had too much caffeine, maybe, <laughs> and are willing to really kind of just set the pace and, and kind of keep it single file, which the, in this particular race, um, it seems like we were just on the first and second lap, it was almost single file. So, I always just, I never try to do, it takes me, you know, 10, 15 minutes to warm up just to mm -hmm. feel good. So, but I'll always try to slot in somewhere, you know, top five, at least top 10 at the minimal. But I mean, that's just kind of like how I prefer to always just kind of like right towards the top. But yeah, right, right, yeah. right to the front. Yeah. And did you, did you warm up at all right before the race or you just went cold? No, I did. I got on the trainer uh, uh, probably a good 20 minutes, but it's, it's, it's never, I, I, you can't put the same effort in, or I can never put the same effort in, even though I do try to warm up the legs. Um, so as you can see, there's at least one guy, I think that's Nick. Um, there's always, uh, there was always at least one guy in our group that was willing to, to kind of take the lead. And that's why I was just, I just kind of just hovered towards the front. And I think that was the kind of my game plan to a certain point was just at least be in the front. Hopefully if there's some moves, Maybe either chase chase it down or go with it, and not necessarily initiate it. Yeah, and there's there's 20 guys in the field, and we have quite a few teammates. And I know you know this is the beginning of the season, so guys are still testing their legs. And I know it was just like, hey, let's just go have fun, right? Right. It, it was no real big game plan. Let's just not let anything go away, right? And, and just just have a good time and test our fitness, right? Yeah. And especially, I think we had about uh, six or seven guys in the group, so um, you know, at, at least you know. And, and you can probably see throughout the video that you know a lot of these guys were um, uh, pretty active as far as you know guys on our team you know mm -hmm. uh, up there at least patrolling, going with the moves, and and I, again I always just try to stay towards the front and just hopefully to kind of be in the mix. And one, one of the things that was funny because it was uh, Ron Stefan and I were in the follow car with my boys, and there was times where like somebody in red would go off the front and we thought. Wait a minute. Why is why is that Pete's coffee guy chasing down his own teammate? But it was like Make a Wish, yeah. and then you had there, there was a couple of teams that were like the Michael David yeah. Weiner, I think, and, had a red. Pete's was there as well. And, Pete, then, and then the Pete's um, had two guys on it, which is also in red. And then Audi, Audi, well, the Audi, yeah, so, the Audi guys were, were in red, and so it was hard to tell. Like, right, why is right. he chasing his own teammate? Yes. And we were so confused. And then later on, we go, Oh yeah, there's just a lot of guys black and red. Right. So actually, there's that's I'm behind Fonseca right now, who's from Audi, so he's kind of a uh, more of a black uh, uh, attire versus mm -hmm. like the guys really in red that, that really is confusing like I said um, with with uh, Pete's Michael David um, you know, and make a wish so was it as confusing for you guys in the pack not knowing who went up off the front as it was for us in the follow car no I, so it, it wasn't necessarily for me just because uh -huh. like, I, I know a lot of these players cool. um, and that's kind of like how I was always kind of key in my by whether I should re re respond to a move or, or go with the move, um, you know, we, we, there's some heavy hitters here, obviously, right? I mean, you got Jerome Nadell, who's from Thirsty Bear, who's, who, who basically was the uh, he, he was the national champion last year. Mm -hmm. So you can see he's got stars and stripes, and of course, a guy named Dean LaBerge, who's from Pete's, who's also got um, these guys are, are uh, world champions, so they either got the rainbow of some sort on their collar or some kind of stars and stripes. That's right? gonna just make it super fun, right? And interesting, right? right? Yeah. So. yeah. So it's just kind of, it, it, I, I felt like I went with a lot of the moves, um, again, not necessarily a shape, uh, initiating them, uh -huh. but, and, and there was a couple of things, a couple of moves that I think I did get in and I looked back and we did have a gap, but it, it was always a, a, a too big of a group uh -huh. that kind of never, you know, um, you know, once you get beyond like five or six, 
guys, it, it never really materializes. That's another thirsty bear. So the guy that went off, who is that? Jerome or, or who, who was that that just went off? So okay. it was most likely Jerome. So Jerome is an ex-national champion. And then, of course, there's a guy named uh, Jason um, Griffrath. If I, hopefully I didn't. Griffrath. Yeah, I didn't slaughter that. Who's, who's basically a, a, a monster as well. So here's one that went off. I felt like um, it was a um, kind of went with it with, with um, uh, I believe that's uh, in the front, I believe that's Jerome. Mm -hmm. And obviously either one of those two guys, either, whether it's Jerome, uh, actually uh, they have three guys in there that I forgot that was Yach is, is right, yeah. the guy It right looks there. like they, they went to the front. Right, to try to slow it down because uh, of, they yeah. had a guy up in the front. And of course, he got brought back. And I gotta say, you know what? In, in watching this video, you know, because I was editing it and, and watching the video, is the Thirsty Bear guys did a really great job of trying to control the field, right? Monitoring the front when one of their guys went up, went up the front, went off the front. Sorry. And um, I, I thought they did a really great job as working together, just three guys. They did. They did. And 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 not to talk about something else besides this race. Previous last week was at the um, Cal Aggie. Uh -huh. They actually had a good number, and that's exactly what they did. They sent, like, they had probably had about five or six riders, uh -huh. and they sent e every lap there was a guy, there was a thirsty bear uh -huh. in the front. Once they got caught, they sent another guy. Once they got caught, they sent another guy until until they ended up having two two or three um, breakaway. And so he's on the he's on the front right now, and he's just kind of what just blocking control. And, and no, so I think we're we brought everything right now. Is everything is brought back? I think we're all together. If, uh, yeah, there's one guy out the front. Oh, is there? Just, just a tiny bit. One of the thirsty bear guys. He's just a tiny bit off. Okay, I do see him. So uh, I, I believe that that was. And he just looks like he just kind of just yeah. So that was Fonseca that tried to make around. a move. That guy, the thirsty bear right there with the stars and stripes, is Jerome. So that must be um, a yacht uh, off the front. And nobody's going off to go get it. Look like somebody wanted to, but right. it just, you just kind of like, well, look, that's fine. Just let him sit up. Yeah. So, so uh, again, it depends who was in the front, and I believe that was Yach. And Yach is actually not necessarily your your time trial breakaway guy, though mm -hmm. he can. But he's not known for that. He's known for sprint. So I, I think that's really really why we didn't go out and try to you know chase him down and just kind of let him kind of hang out. Yeah, and, and we, and we can look. The bunch is now kind of just grouped up, and exactly. no longer strung right. out, and they're like, okay, you want to control the front? Right. Sit on the front. That's why there goes an attack. There goes that. It's Andre. Mm -hmm. um, he's a 55er, so he'll be. I I I, I know Andre really well, and, and we've chatted, and he's he's looking forward to the to the 55s, and, and he knows uh, you know our our Sierra Nevada's 55 is, is pretty mm -hmm. strong, so he's he's. He's definitely got his eye on us. So here, like I said, I hover about four fifth place, um, and then you know we've always it seems like we've always had a good couple of guys. Craig looks like he's up there right now, um, and I believe that is Jason that's leading the, the group around. Yeah, because we're only about seven eight minutes into about a fifty minute race, so right. we've got a lot of racing left to go. Right. And everybody's like, yeah, that's fine. Go and, ahead, and let him go. And again, I'm still kind of warming up. I'm still having to reach my 10, 15 <laughs> minutes, so. I'm just trying to just, uh, you know, not necessarily get in the front, but at least enough to uh, uh, see what's going on, sit top five, top six, and at least still get the draft, but at least hopefully get a bigger, you know, see what's actually, what's, you know, happening in the front, right? So so you went out and, you, and it was raining earlier in the morning and it had stopped by this time, other than we have some sprinkles later. Right. I know you were a little like, oh man, it's raining. And a lot of guys didn't come out because it was raining. It ended up not raining most of most of the day. I mean, what were your feelings going into the race? You're like, okay, it's gonna rain. I got to do a prep. So yeah, I think we <laughs> like, we kind of ran into each other, and then I wasn't I wasn't too thrilled. Uh, and and when we were you know when I was getting warmed up or, or warming up, I should say, um, weather wasn't wasn't uh, wasn't really a, a big. Uh, it wasn't you know cooperating. It looks like there goes an attack. Um, there goes an attack, and I think I had, I went with that one as well. And yeah, so. I'm not sure who I actually attacked, so I'm about sixth here, I think. In this, uh, make a wish, he's, he's uh, closing it down. That's got to be Rick. That's Rick. Yeah, La is it Lawhorn? Lawton. Lawton. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So he's another strong guy. He's he's uh, again. These are all the 45ers that I raced with last year. I just I just moved up to category uh, basically 55. Um, uh, excuse me, last year. So a lot of these guys have raced it for almost 10 years. Um, yeah, and and like. So going back to it being wet, I mean, there's, it's a little wet, but it doesn't look too bad. It, was it was it slippery? Was you know was it 
No, so I, I, I do have to kind of say it, it wasn't as sketchy as I thought it would be. There so, you go, you're closing it. Yeah, so it looks yeah. like, the, I, I believe this was a, a looked like a pretty good threat because I believe that was Jason that's uh -huh. just wrapping it up and, and there's a couple of guys that, that, you know, that I know can hold this pace if, if we were able to actually work together. Um, so and, not, and this is going into a headwind section, yeah? Yes, yeah, so going into the headwind section. So it looks like you, we hit the, the headwind section, guys, we kind of bunch up going through here. Right. And then a lot of the attacks, we had a, what is it, a southeast wind, so it was it was like a cross headwind. And so when you come into this side, you had a bit of a crosswind and a tiny bit of a tailwind. So it just depends, it, it was kind of weird because it, right. you know, it wasn't exact. And so, like, as soon as we got around this backside, it's often where I would, you would see most of the guys would start attacking exactly. and going through that tailwind section. Right. Even the cross tail. There goes another one. Yeah. So I think the, the we chased that down was because it was Jonathan, um, or excuse me, uh, Nick from uh, from Pete's Coffee. Um, so he's a, he's a, another awesome, you know, just one of those guys that can put the head down and, and stay away if you let him, right? Yeah. And, and there's a lot of strong guys in here. There was. There definitely was. So I think there's one guy in the front right now, and, mm -hmm. and we're just not sure who it is. But uh, again, I'm just kind of hovering in, you know, top five and, and just trying to see if you know, the, the big name guys will go. Um, and it's a, it's a, a uh, it's a prospect that they they can stay away with the right combination. I, 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 hopefully, I'd be able to you know. So the so and, the wheel. and back again because we uh, there was an attack we started talking about is the the rows weren't too slippery so it wasn't too bad right no so yeah so surprisingly I, I was really uh, I wasn't really too happy to, to, to kind of you know do a crit in the rain I mean that's never a really good combination right uh -huh. but it just the, the course was wide enough that I don't I don't think we even had to like we we would carry our speed through so however whatever speed that we were carrying uh, prior to the turn. We, we, I mean, we didn't slow up for the turn. And, and they're big, huge sweeping turns. Yeah, I mean, there's only so, really two corners. Everything else would just kind of kind go of a, sw a long sweeper. Right. Yeah, and, and a note for all the races, if anybody's wondering, there was one crash, I think it was a, it was a five elite, and, and I'm not sure what the circumstances were. He, he crashed, but he was fine. But there were no crashes and, and no really any big incidents for the entire day. Everybody yeah, raced really well. And I was actually pretty surprised on how, um, I, I guess, there wasn't a lot of, uh, chaoticness in, in this field. I don't know. Maybe they were they weren't willing to take you know unnecessary chances because it was wet. Mm -hmm. But it was actually pretty pretty smooth as far as you know people holding their line and, and not you know cutting people yeah. off or you know cutting in front of your wheel or anything. So it was actually it was pretty pretty civilized for a crit being being in the, the conditions they were. And, and and this is the beginning of the season. I mean, we had uh, was it the Calagi the week before and for some guys that was probably their first race of the season right this race they probably some guys were probably at Calagi and some guys were, were here and so this is still the beginning of the season and guys are still testing their legs they're seeing where their fitness at um, they're seeing where everybody else is at their competitors and like you say a lot of these guys have been racing and racing together for for years right. yeah so the majority of the I, I would say the majority of the guys that that always kind of you know I don't want to you, you, the guys that always kind of come up to the top uh, are, are the same guys that you're going to see kind of riding or leading the group, right? So um, usually uh, guys that tend to ride from the beginning, uh, they they're, they keep their fitness pretty much, um, you know, at least a good half of the year, if not even, you know, towards the end of the year, right? So, um, so these guys just know, I think realistically, the, the, even though it's, it is the beginning of the year, it's, it's just, you'll see the same guys from the beginning, whether the uh, beginning of the year or mid-year or October. Those, those guys the same guy. They're the yeah. same guys that are winning. They're, they're the same guys that everybody's out. looking at. So it's never, you know, you, you rarely see these guys like they don't show up until um, you know March or April. They're they're when they out when they're out racing. There there isn't too many guys that's that's kind of using this as a, a get to fitness um, uh, so, shape. So who's this guy on the front? Because we see him quite a bit animating. That is um, closing things. Uh, uh, what uh, that is, uh, Cameron Cameron Walker. Mm -hmm. um, so he, he used to ride for Mike bikes, and I believe this is his first year in the forty five plus. Uh -huh. So he's he's another strong guy. He's, he's he's like a diesel type. I mean, he's a type that will go to the front and just kind of hold the pace, you know, twenty five without no problem. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, good lap. 
So he was always a he was always a, a, a good um, wheel to, to be behind, or, or you know, if you can get behind him, he, he's willing to close the gap and, and work hard. Yeah, and there's another guy off the front there. Can't tell who it is. Um, but it looks like it was when we went into you know coming around the start line and and the finish line because it was strung out this last time and, and again. Is just that everything's kind of strung out. It doesn't look like it's hard to tell because I don't have a, a, any speed or power overlays that you can see how fast everybody's going. But it must be that everybody's like just kind of strung out, right? And there goes um, Ken Todd, I believe, went off the front, yeah. right? And so the, he's trying to close that gap. Um, I do recall telling him, saying something to Ken, and say, and, and basically uh, encouraging him to, to go. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Ken, you go ahead. Yeah. No, I'll wait here. <laughs> um, so that was Fonseca, I believe, is off the front, and Ken's the one that's trying to ch uh, close the gap on him. It's funny, as he passed the camera, you can see he just kind of looks at the camera. He looked back, and he's like, yeah, yeah, good. Okay. This, is, this, is, this is really cool to see, like, you know, from your point of view, you're usually pretty much up the front. You're never hanging out the back. You want to make sure nothing goes, is getting away. Right. Um, were you thinking about attacking at all? Like you're gonna attack, take a flyer, go off the front? So I, I didn't really, I did go off the, I think, uh, I, I hope it's on here. Uh, I, I, since we're kind of talking about this a week later, I, I thought I went to the front um, a, a few times, but I, I'm hoping that, that this video doesn't make me a liar. No, no, you, <laughs> so, you, you did. did I? Okay, yeah, yeah, you did. but so I, I will tell you that wasn't a, a full hearted attack. Because of the make a wish guy. Yeah, that was Rick. I think there's somebody out the front, right? Yeah, yeah, there's somebody, yeah, there's two guys, I think. It's hard to tell. Okay, so now here I got two guys, in, uh, two of my uh, teammates. That's um, Carrie and yeah, I believe that's Ken Todd. So. And, and Carrie raced two races. He did, he, he did the 35s mm -hmm. uh, afterwards. So. Which seemed to be pretty typical. A lot of guys would come out and race two races and, and, um, and just really, you know, get in a really good workout. Right. So going back to, um, I, I, again, it wasn't necessarily that I, I, I would put in a, a heart attack. It was just more of, of the person that was uh, in front kind of pulls off. So you kind of obligated to kind of just, you know, stay in the front and just, you know, take your turn. So it wasn't necessarily I was wanting to, to make an attack or, or had the intentions to, to put in an attack, but just, you know, just coming off the front or coming off a wheel that just was off the front, you kind of have to, you know, do your due diligence and, and, and take your turn up there as well, right? So Yeah, and it seemed like, you know, there's definitely guys who are animating the race. They're the ones that are attacking, they're taking right. flyers, they're right. going out, they're trying to string everybody out, they're trying to burn guys' legs. And then um, and then you played it a bit more conservative. It was probably the way I would probably go. Yeah. I'm not a, like a big, you know, let me go and, and attack and, and do, well, I don't do crits. Um, but you know, I'll probably be like you. I'm gonna, I'll shut things down. I'll keep everything, you know, together. And it right. goes a, it goes an attack. They're closing down. I think there's two guys off the front right yeah, now. Yeah, it was two guys off the front, I believe. And that's Kerry, and I'm and I'm sitting third or, or fifth behind right now on this on this chase. Um, three guys off the front. Three guys. Yeah. Okay. That's why everybody got. Okay. Yeah. So I know Kerry puts in a good dig here. So I, I don't think uh, Thirsty Bear had a guy in there. So I think that's what made them actually put in a, 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 a you know, kind of was willing to put the pace up to, to bring the, the, the three guys back. I think all three of the Thirsty Bear guys were, are, are in this group now. So that's Jason taking a, a big pull and I think we're, we're about to catch him here. So, so one of the things I noticed on this course, and I've never gone to one of these races is that most of the uh, the races ended up with so those guys in the breakaway that ended up going up, up to the end. So it seems like you know if you can get away and stay away and just kind of get out get out of sight and just and just stay out of sight. Right. You can stay away on on this course if you if you got the right mix. If, right? if you got the right mix, and that's kind of like what I I'm, I was hoping to you know take part in and, and get the right guys and and you know. Uh, I, and, and hopefully, you know, get that right mix. Because even I, I think we did get some people in the right mix, but I think it got to a point where it was too big. So when you yeah. not necessarily you, you, you have the, all the right ingredients, all, all the right writers, but if it gets too big, um, there's no you lose that cohesiveness, you lose that motivation to 
you know, for everybody to, to, to work. And, and there's always, you know, if there are you know, seven plus riders, there's always going to be some guy that's going to not take their pool, right? So that's kind of, that's I think that's kind of like where um, a, a few of those breaks that, that uh, I was hoping to, to follow. Um, now, now um, no, you saw one of the riders, uh, John Simmons. I want to give a shout out to John Simmons because he came, he rode his bike out, he raced two races, he and he, he, he even said, hey, I'm not race ready, I'm just going to go race. And to me, which stood out to me in, in, in my mind was he came out, finished the race, even though he got lapped, and he's just like, I'm here to just race and support the community. And so, hey, hey John, thanks for that. Yeah. And uh, matter of fact, dude, if you uh, get with me on social media, because we follow each other on social media, I've got a science and sport bottle for you and, uh, and a box of gels, dude. Just want to say thank you for coming out and uh, appreciate you just like, just not caring and just having fun and racing, because that's really what this sport is all about. All right, big props to Big John. <laughs> that's cool. So here it looks like we're all back together. Um, I don't think anybody's off the front here and everybody's just kind of looking around to see who's, who's wanting to go, who's wanting to take a lead. Um, it looks like you've come up to the front. Yeah, on the front. So again, this I, it wasn't a, a, a real hard attack. It was just more of like, okay, if we're just going to sit around, look around, uh, just, everybody everybody just, just everybody just kind of noodle and look at each right. looking at each other because we're what. And, it's, and I think Rick is pretty much doing the same thing. Kind of come came around me and just just kind of pedaled to nothing super hard. Because you're about right now, it's about halfway through the race at this point. Okay. So we're about 20 minutes in, and we still got another 25 minutes or so plus of racing. Right. So there's so there's Dean, um, who's uh, you can see he's uh, it's got stars and stripes. He's probably the most uh, I don't know the, the most wins as far as the sprinter goes. Mm -hmm. I mean, so he's he's kind of like one of those ex sprinter uh, extraordinaire, right? So he, I don't know if I I don't recall him seeing him towards the, the front because if anything his their goal is the Dean Dean the Dean is the kind of the finisher. Uh -huh. So that's why uh, uh, Nick was out there doing a lot of the work for Pete's, but um, you know, Dean is also a strong guy that he's, he, you know, he can, he can play in a, in a, in a uh, break as well. So yeah, it, it looked like one of the thirsty bear guys that had sat up and was coming in as one of his teammate kind of went and started to attack, but he got marked right away. So he just kind of backed it off. And there, it looks like there's two guys out the front here, the thirsty bear guy and and okay, here we go. Yeah, they're just kind of. There goes a counter. Yeah. And then, so that's Fonseca kind of moving up, and I think, um, and then he just kind of did a false attack, put a couple of hard pedals in, and, and sat up and turned back. And, and then Jason kind of takes, I believe that's Jason, and he just kind of takes the uh, the role of, of trying to just keep the, a steady pace. Yeah, everything's kind of settling down. Now, is the right. Pete's guy still off the front? I don't believe so, not at this point. Okay. But yeah. I could be wrong. Um, there it goes. Here's yeah. another one. Here's another attack. So I believe that's that's Pete, right? Uh, Pete's guy right there. And everybody's just kind of marking everything. Exactly. Yeah. Well, everybody's also had a time to recover, and see everybody just kind of bunched up. So now everybody's a little bit fresher. Right. And they're not going to let anything go. Right. So this is at the point probably where you're doing a lot of jumps, mm -hmm. where you know this. Um, so uh, you know halfway into the race, uh, obviously most most likely everybody's all warmed up, and 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 all these uh, you know, the guys that know that they can break away and stay away they're they're trying to make their move and, and everybody's you know trying to have to fall there it goes there goes one kind of yeah that's Fonseca um so Fonseca for a one-man team he, or one-man show he's he was pretty uh pretty active throughout the whole race and that's that's kind of his ammo too though um okay so I believe that it was Scott that they were kind of chasing and kind of a half-hearted uh attack and Again, here's a, and it's also into a headwind section, so it's probably right. not the place right. where you want to but just kind of get in there and sit right. on your wheel. So this is, I think, this is where I kind of, kind of went out to the front, and, and again, it's nothing hard, you know, hard, full on attack, but I just kind of, you know, just keep the pace up, putting some feelers out there. Yeah. yeah. For me, this is interesting because I do, I do road racing, so road racing is very different. Everybody's just kind of sitting in and. and you get attacks every once in a while, but this right. is just constant going, constant pace of like guys hitting the front, going through. And this is a small group. There's like 
Uh, this started with about 20 guys, and I think it gets whittled down to about maybe about a dozen. Okay. I, I actually didn't know who finished or who didn't, who didn't finish, right? So. And there's quite a few, there was few guys that were, that just, you know, just continued to stay and, and even if they got lab, they were there just to get a good workout. Sure. Yeah. All right. So we're probably, I believe this is, a, this is more than halfway into the race now, I, I, I believe, right? Yeah, we're about 25 minutes into the race or so we're halfway. Okay. So we still have some racing to do, but. Looks like we're chasing somebody here. One person's off the front, I believe. Yeah, because you can see it's strung out again. You have that little tip. No, I don't think there's anybody that. I think, okay. that's, I yeah. think we're just, just everybody just putting in a decent effort. I, yeah. I think that's John on this left hand side there. So I, I think uh, we were all together here. Yeah, dude, he just he just kept going, dude. Yeah. He's like, I came to have fun and yeah. I'm just going to. That's, that's kind of cool for him to just kind of keep plugging away, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and coming out and, and spending the day in the, in the rain and, and supporting the race. So. Yeah, supporting the race yeah. And, and, and having a good time. So here, yeah, I don't think, I think uh, we're, everybody's kind of just halfway through the race. I think everybody's just kind of looking and, and seeing who, who would actually try to make a move. And, you know, people are just willing to kind of just go to the front and at least just keep the pace at a decent pace, you know, at a mm -hmm. pace that um, nobody's just coasting or, or just sitting in the back and getting a free ride. I'm actually surprised that my camera didn't have more sprinkles, but uh, it looks like the GoPro, like it kind of started to get a little bit wet. And I think towards the end of the race, it's going to start raining a little bit because it looks like the windshield wipers came on on the fall car. Oh, okay. So we just barely started to get a, to get a little rain. So it was a little cold. It was a little cold. And I know that affects the muscles. How did you, how did your legs feel at this point? I, I, you know, I don't, you can see some of these guys, like the Cameron's in front of me, he doesn't even have leg warmers. I, uh, I think Rick doesn't have leg warmers from, from uh, R4R or Make-A-Wish. I had every winter gear that you can think of. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I had uh, knee warmers. I actually had two pair of arm warmers. I had headgear and I probably was wearing like four bait and like, Four uh, layers of, uh, of upper jersey. Okay, and so, for those of you guys who don't know Ted, Ted does not like to <laughs> ride and uh, race in the cold when it's wet. That is yeah. not Ted's game. Yeah. You will see Ted going up Beatty at like 95, 98 degrees. And I've seen him because Beatty's like right down the street from my house. And I'm like, Ted, he's crazy. Yeah, I think I had my wife with me yeah, one time yeah. too. So, yeah. And yeah, we're, we're, we're warm blooded people, I guess. Uh, I think you had a beanie cap of her every year. I did. Yeah, I had a beanie cap on here as well. Yeah, so I was I was dressed if it was uh, just like any other winter winter day. <laughs> these half of these guys were you know, just either in you know regular kits. Um, yeah, I think that was Jason that just put in a, a hard dig. I guess uh, the pace that we were kind of setting in the front wasn't that wasn't fast enough. It looks like a, a, a make a wish. This is uh, Rick. Should be Rick, right? Yeah. And then, you know, throughout the whole race, I mean, I, I, you know, big props to the guys on the team, right? Um, you know, with uh, with Nick, Carrie, and Ron, Todd, or Ken, and then Craig. You know, so you know, every, I think everybody had a big role, and, and everybody kind of represented well coming to the front. Um, you know, took their took their you know their turn at the. the at the front, so to kind of represent. So you know, I think it was a, a good showing for for all the guys on this team, or on our team. Yeah, and we actually took a little break between this audio recording to have a little bit of dinner. And Ted and I were talking about it. You know, like some of us are, you know, we're still wrapping up for our season. Um, like you said, there's some guys that you know they're just they're pretty solid most of the season. But there's a, there's quite a few guys where that are it goes an attack, it goes a dig, it's going. At Fonseca, and I think that was Nadell and and. Uh, Andre, so and it was Kerry yeah. shutting it down, shutting it down, and a lot of guys are you know they're still getting their legs, still getting their fitness, they're still working through it, um, and so you know some of the times to be able to go out and start doing some of these these early raises, these early crits to start building that top end and getting your body going. Oh yeah, this is what it feels like, because if if you if you don't you know even building in 
yeah, it takes a while to, to get those right legs back and get your body and your mind into that suffering of going hard. Right. Especially in this particular race, you can see, I mean, you're just jumping and jumping and jumping. I mean, you're yeah. doing like many intervals throughout the whole race. So, I mean, just getting the legs, you know, fit, it, you know, it, a lot of times we don't sit there and do, you know, intervals um, on, this, on these type of workouts, right? So, I mean, even if you are fit, it, you might not be able to, you know, respond to a, a jump, a jump, a jump, and, and just keep responding to these little short intervals. So that, that takes a toll on the legs as well. So yeah, I think my coach and, and I were talking about it, and he's like, um, you know, we did this really punchy race. I think it was Winchester, and he's like, Aaron, if I went out and told you to go out and do 150 percent, 200 percent for right. 10 seconds and do that 40 times, you'd look at me and think I was crazy. Yeah. But because you it, it, you can try to do that, but it doesn't simulate you know getting out there and, right. and racing and having to deal with other guys and jumping and watching your you know your front wheel and, and uh, protecting yourself in the wind. Right, there goes a the move. And there goes Carey. Looks like he put in a, a good pace here. And, and again, I, I think I slot in somewhere around fourth or fifth, just trying to stay up there. And this is this is a cross tail. So you you I'm assuming you knew like. Where to go? What did it feel like when you were going through the section? Because this is a fast section, right? Because it's like a like a tail cross. Right. This is kind of like where most of the where most of the guys put in their their little dig in. Uh -huh. So um, you know, again, if, if you're if you, if you can respond uh, quick enough and, and latch onto the wheel, uh, it, it, it's not that bad. Um, but uh, again, I think that the whole thing is is, is majority of the guys are, are willing to put in like you know maybe a ten second dig and and, just, and look back and and you know, see the whole pack there and just kind of slide over and, and ease up. And so some other people who are a little bit new to racing or don't know when you're when you attack into a headwind, it's much easier for somebody to sit in your draft and save energy when you've got a headwind or a cross headwind if you get to the correct side of, of the person in front of you. When you've got a tailwind, uh, you're not getting that that same draft. So you're basically putting out about the same effort and same amount of power as the person in front of you, well, given whatever your, your weight is. Correct. So if you want to attack and you want to hurt people, you know, you want to do that into like a, a tailwind or a good crosswind section where it's going to be really hard to stand on your wheel. Right. So it looks like, is that carry still in the front at this point? Yeah, it looks like. Uh, it. Yeah, I think. That, that yeah, like I think it. Kerry put in a good effort. You know, I think it was almost two laps, and then it goes a counter attack. And again, I think that's Jerome that took off, and and I responded to uh, Fonseca went, and then I ended up going on Fonseca's, taking Fonseca's will. And if you guys will notice, that, you know, once it gets going, and everybody starts getting their energy, and they start getting their legs warmed back up, and are feeling good is that there's going to be an attack and somebody will spawn an attack whether it's another teammate and, and in this particular case there was only a I, I think the biggest team was was ours with sierra nevada and it's usually like a response to go back and counter go again make people chase put a hurt in and see if you can open up the gap and, and uh, get a breakaway going so it looks like there was you're up in the front there you've got your yeah so I'm letting, I'm letting jason and um and Fonseca kind of dictate this pace here, and, and they're more than willing to slot back in and, and keep the pace high. So um, they didn't really look back and say, hey, come up to the front. Um, so I, here, I think Fonseca's already pulled off after doing a couple of turns. And um, and I think, like I said, I believe this is Jason, um, who's, who, you know, on any given day, if you let him go, he, he, he's, he's got the horsepower to, to keep up this pace by himself, and, and that's, pretty much his, his MO to be able to sneak off and, 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 and again, he can hold his pace. It's so, it's so neat and, and nice to see like just how well everybody's riding, everybody's keeping it steady. Yeah, you don't have a lot of craziness and people overlapping wheels and, and cut people off and diving through the turns. Right. So again, this is Masters uh, racing. <laughs> I'm off. I'm off. Coming off of uh, Jason's wheel, so again, it wasn't necessarily a hard. Uh, I tried to attack, but just you know, take your turn, come up to the front, and and you know, just keep the pace high. And it looks like there's a little bit of a split right there from the fall. Yeah, I think I think Fonseca and Jason, when they initially made that hard effort, I think that broke a couple of um, a couple of you know, snapped the group a little bit. And I think this is where we actually had a. A five to six man break. I might have lasted, I believe, a, a lap until I think it was still too big, and 
everybody just wanted to look at one another type thing and, and you know kind of like you know keep the pace high but again you have too many you know I guess too many cooks in the kitchen and, and it just doesn't it just doesn't pan out yeah so it looks like there's three guys off the front and is that is that is Thirsty Bear up in the front at this point it looks like there's two here they're not chasing they're sitting on wheels yeah. so maybe they do have a guy in that that little move so I believe um Jerome is in the front right now I think this is actually this might be the the winning move right? if there's three guys out there this is probably where um, I believe Jerome got out the front and that's why the two thirsty bear kind of came up to the front um, and set a decent tempo that you know kind yeah. Of, yeah here we go yeah two guys or three guys yeah three guys thirsty yeah. bear so that's Jerome um, Nick Feebold from Pete's and then Scott Fonseca from um, Audi <clears throat> Graham. So I think that was uh, and that and it, that ended up being in the winning move. So you know, you know, it always makes me nervous, especially in, in the rain. Is when I see guys ride ride in the gutter. I've seen so many guys crash or get wheels caught in, in, in riding that in that gutter and getting it. Luckily, this is this is this doesn't have like a big crack. You know, but I've right. seen guys. In, yeah, in I mean, you can see that the a couple of these riders, including myself, have ventured off into the into the uh, the non asphalt side, I guess, or yeah. closer to the curb, right? <clears throat> Uh, this gutter actually isn't bad. There aren't any big gaps, but yeah. like I, I've had teammates who, like even on the river ride, have gotten uh, their their tire caught. We were right. just just open up just enough, and they hit just the right spot. Right. And then there's always junk and stuff in there. So like you know, especially when it rains, and and they sweep these in the morning. So here, here's a here's a note if you're doing a crit, and there's um, they sweep them in the morning, and a lot of that stuff goes into the uh, gutter, so you're more likely to get a flat. So here, this is the last corner, and then you can see there's a banhole cover that was um, kind of like in the middle of that turn. But um, even carrying the speed that we were carrying, we, we were able to you know stay inside that and, and without having to you know put any uh, brakes on because of, of you know being wet. So again, again the the uh, the course itself rendered a, a fairly safe, uh, given that it was wet. It, it wasn't as bad as as you know, I was I was kind of dreading it to be. Yeah, and the chase is on right now. Yeah, yeah, you guys are wanting to bring it back. And then, well, you see, you have one Pete's Coffee guy uh, there with you, so he's going to be marking. Gary looked like he was upset about something or other. Yeah, I think. Uh, you know what? It, well, I, I'm not sure. I mean, most likely, he's probably just wondering where nobody was kind of helping out with the. With the, I think he's turned it in or he had him a couple because I know he went back and he was he was a beast in the next race and he just kept going. The guy's super strong. He is. Um, so it's Scott and there's no other Audi guys that I see, but Pete's has one, Thirsty Bear has two, so they're just going to be controlling the front, making sure nobody goes off. They're going to be blocking. When you see them up in the front, they're just watching. Yeah. And that's a good combo. So you have Yach. Uh, basically, in there, he's he's mainly their their sprinter, and, and so is Jerome. I mean, Jerome is a you know a national champion sprinter, but uh, the fact that he's up in the front, so um, you know, it's ideal for for Yachts to take the, the field sprint, which I think he did. Well, actually, no, Dean Dean got the field sprint, then Yachts. Mm -hmm. So, which again, it was two ideal um, sprinters from the, from each of their team that was off in the front because we have. Um, in, in the top three, we got Jerome, Nick, and Scott, and you know Jerome and Nick. And these are all strong guys, but oh, yeah. two national champs. Yes, yeah. yeah, you know you got the uh, Jerome and Nick. Yeah. And so this is like the, the perfect storm. It, it is. And Fonseca's, you know, I think he just hasn't been able to, you know, pull off the, maybe that one day race that allowed him, you know, whether it's the national or or, or um, world. But um, he's a, he's on the same caliber as those guys. Yeah. And the challenge here is that. At this point, you know the, uh, the field has been whittled down, and the only two teams are the Michael David and Sierra Nevada, and so everybody's just kind of on their own, and so it makes again another perfect storm. Like you know, aside from Thirsty Bear, but they've got a guy at the break, so all they you got to do is just do their best to control the field, and you got a lot of single guys that are either going to try to see if they can bridge up, or right. or you know, do they really want to work and spread for fourth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and we did get him pretty close, and that's one of those woulda, shoulda, coulda moments that I that I actually thought about. Um, 
but it, again, it, it was it, it, it's one of those split minute decision. If you don't do it, you don't do it. And if you're gonna do it, you gotta do it as soon as you think about it. Yeah, because right here you get pretty close. Yeah, exactly. Right? I mean, you can see them right there, and I'm sitting third. Right. Um, and it was like I said, I right there, and then I I was you know, should I go? Should I not go? And of course, I, obviously, I elected not to go, which was the wrong choice. But um, who knows? I, again, it was one of those. Uh, if, if you think about it, if you don't go, you, uh, you've got to execute it right off. You know, mm -hmm. right as you uh, as, as you're thinking about it. And this is this is tough right here. You were like, you know, do I go? Do I want to try to get it? And and uh, this is Make a Wish. So he's been pulling, and he's you know he's he's tired. And obviously, Thirsty Bear is not going to chase, so he's just kind of sitting up and cruising. And right. so nobody else is coming through to pull through to help this guy in the chase. He got you guys pretty close. Right. Oh, there goes a the guy. And then at this point, too, uh, I wasn't sure who was all left in, in, um, you know, on our team. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of uh, it, it basically it's it's you know I elected realistically to, to let see who, hopefully somebody else will do the chase, and either that if nobody we you know. Uh, I guess sprint for fourth place, which again, you know, one, of, one, one, one of those should have would have moments that, that I wish I would have did something else and, and being that close uh, the previous lap. Um, I think that would have been the, the right choice to go, but you know, again. And you can tell at, at this point, you know, guys are <clears throat> pretty much, it, it's, it's not strung out. You get, guys have kind of set up a little bit. Right. Nobody's really chasing. And now it's given the the opportunity for Jerome, Nick, and Scott to to Hit really right away, right away, put in a, in a good gap. He kind of rode away a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So you can see even even the guys. Um, I mean, Thirsty Bear just they just have every one of those guys are, are, are talented, right? They they know how to race, and even even they know they have a guy in the front of the race. They make it. They they'll set a pace hard enough that they kind of discourage. You from so they're, they're just not going to soft pedal and you're going to say oh this guy's going too slow i'm going to go around him they set a, a pace high enough to you know just like okay I'm, it's not super hard but it's not super easy either so they're you, you know you kind of get uh, to a place where okay this is uh, i'm kind of okay set you know at this pace where it discourages everybody to kind of just come around yeah and not enough where they're going to like close the gap to their teammates right so right. they got strung out again um uh, does it make a wish again Rick Lockton? Up at the front. So Rick did definitely a lot of work. Um, yeah, strong. So he, he was just, he was solo, and I think at this point, um, which probably, um, you know, maybe more of the, the guys that were single team, me being one of them, at, I think at this point, we should have just, you know, just put our head down and just try to bring it back. But at that, at that point, you know, if we were to do that, who's, who's, who's going to counter and who do we have to finish up if we were, you know, if, Guys actually just put their head down and, and blew themselves up to try to close the gap. Yeah, yeah. And, and you can see there's there's guys that are, are getting lapped. And this, this happened. The official was actually really cool. Right. Um, if guys got lapped. He just allowed them to keep continue racing, and they it sometimes would come back and slot in with the group and um, and just keep racing. He, he obviously wouldn't have let them like sprint or whatever. Right. But uh, yeah. So this is interesting. So now this is just like. It, it's like you said, it's challenging because it's a bunch of single guys now. They can't really do anything. You've got two uh, Thirsty Bear guys and a, uh, and a and a Pete's Coffee guy. It, it, it's interesting because the Pete's Coffee guy is like, oh, okay, he's taking a break. Yeah. Because he's he's got two Thirsty Bear guys that are gonna go up there, so he's just gonna hang out. Exactly. So that so the the Pete's guy is sitting in the back, and I think he, he, he probably sat in the back the whole time, or pretty close. Was was Dean? Um, he's definitely strong, but I mean. That's exactly the card you want to play, right? You got a guy at the front. There's no need for me to, to be up in the front, right? And and Dean's got a pretty one of the best sprints in, in you know Northern California, if not all of cycling in, in the Masters. Um, so he, he knows he can pretty much if it comes down to a, a, a field sprint, which again he proves to be the fastest guy in taking a field sprint coming yeah. up for fourth place, right? So. Yeah, he, he did come in fourth, and so he's played it really smart. And he's like, you know what? If, if Thirsty Bear and you got other guys that are that are working, Thirsty Bear's controlling the field and they're blocking. Right. He's going to sit in. He's going to save his leg. Yeah, he doesn't need to be part of the. He doesn't need to be part of um, you know trying to help the Thirsty Bears to try to control the pace, right? So, so Andre was uh, he was pretty uh, active in, in this race as well. So, and that's that's kind of like how Andre kind of rides too. He just kind of just goes out and 
that's a good uh, a good dig in, and, and hopefully, um, if, if people can follow, they'll follow and and, and, and establish a break if, if you know if they're able to keep that pace up. And I think the break at, at this point got out to about thirty seconds, I think, okay. ish. Um, and and I'm just guesstimating that based on. Uh, what I saw from the video, so it was like 30, 45 seconds at, at this point, and it got in the way. All right. So we're probably, so I think at this point, it's starting to rain on us a little bit. I think that, I, I do remember, um, okay, two, two to go. So I do remember raining at least five or six to go. I mean, mm -hmm. definitely not, the, it was towards the end of the race, but I don't think that really played a, any major incident or, or how it dictated the race or, or how we, we even rode, right? I mean, that we, we didn't. Um, slow up or, or, or change the way yeah, it was the speed a, was. It definitely wasn't a gush. It was just like these little sprinkles. Right, little sprinkles. Yeah, exactly. little sprinkles. Right. Yeah. So I figured we're coming in uh, with two to go. Uh, Yacht, again, he's a, he's a pretty much a, a good sprinter. And I just figured, okay, he, he's, a, he's a wheel. I'm going to follow in um, if, it's gonna, if we're just going to come in for this sprint. So I kind of just plant myself um, behind him. I think that's I'm in fourth place now. Yeah, and you can tell everybody just kind of reconciled. Hey, we're not catching these yeah, guys. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna sit up and wait for the sprint and, and see how who takes fourth place. Yeah, and I knew Dean was sitting back there somewhere, just saving his legs. Uh, I'm sure he was pretty fresh. Um, I actually work right there. Oh, do you? Yeah. That's what's going on. Oh, cool. So I in the back here, as you as you shown the videos from the from the car. Um, trying to see where, where Dean was slotted in. Are you thinking, yeah, I have the legs to sprint here? Or I, gonna... I do. Um, I, I, felt, I felt really good. I felt that I had the legs to sprint. Um, but if I remember correctly, and we'll see here in a moment, I guess, on the final lap. And there goes um, the official. He went up to go uh, join the break at right. this point. Yeah, last lap. So uh, coming into the last lap, uh, I, I remember not sprinting right away where I was on, um, I believe I was on Yacht's wheel, but I think I lose it here. Um, but uh, I, I remember coming into the last corner, they take off, and, and I hesitate that I didn't sprint out of the, 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 the last corner. So here, I, like I said, I get back on either Yacht's wheel. <clears throat> yeah, and it's not really going fast enough where it's strung out. Right. We're just kind of bunched up. Right, and we bunch up right before the turn, just like uh, all the pretty much <laughs> all the other races. Um, it's not strung out enough that uh, we're, we're or not fast enough that we're strung out. So in, in this course, where do you want to be to be in contention for the sprint? Um, so I, I, I was always trying to get on the outside um, just because um, it, it allowed you to, to move because it usually they'll, they'll kind of gutter on the, on the inside here and, uh -huh. and I've got caught in there before. As you can see, people are riding out towards where, you, you know, see how they're coming around on the outside. Yeah. So um, definitely if you get caught on the inside. Um, and on, this, and on that side, you're sheltered on the left. Because it's a it's a cross, it's coming east, right? Which is we're going east and south. So, so again, there goes. I tried to follow Yach, and this is kind of like where it I, it opened up on me. And, and, and yeah, well, you, you got to get caught behind the thirsty guy, just bear guy, just a little yeah. bit. So and he kind of sat up a little bit. And that opened that helped open up that gap. There you are. You're yep. right in it. There you go. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for coming out, Ted. Thank you. Thanks, brother. All right. Behind, I wanna show you what you miss.